Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a standard tier list, one of the best standard decks here at the moment for May 2024, which is inclusive of set one for Divines. So if you guys are interested, here are the best decks. If you guys are going to the Spring Fest, here are the decks to play and here are the decks to bring for your team. If you guys haven't already, click that subscribe button down below for all notifications on this channel. So I'm gonna go through this list a little bit quicker than normal. Uh, a lot of these decks don't or haven't had support in a long time um, but more so kind of talk about uh, the divine set uh, the ride lines that come about that and I think there are some other ones uh, for like set two as well so just kind of a predictive tier list um, I guess for set two stuff but mainly focusing on what really is good in divine set one so Archite uh, so if we're going to go through tier list, so I've listed it S to D, where B is like the benchmark, so B for benchmark, uh, S and A are like the decks that you would bring for like a Springfest or uh, BCS. The criteria of this tier list is uh, individual performance only. Um, team format is a little bit weird because you kind of sometimes bring a deck that is rogue or obscure purely because you have 66% less chance to verse, you know, a lot of the meta decks or at least the s tier decks uh, in the format so let's start off so archites straight into c a lot of these decks i'm not going to give too much explanation if it hasn't gotten support in a long time that's probably why avangarda i guess it's pretty all right had a few uh little buffs here and there the monster one's not great hero is not bad i think hero it's a it's a nice deck um, got a few new tools, uh, and I think, you know, going into the future, I think this will probably get better, but for the meantime, I think it's pretty good. So Eva, this one is actually B here, but I think it will jump to A the moment we get the um, June promo. So I'm just going to list out everything as of set one release, and then just kind of talk um, into the set two and kind of like rearrange things. Uh, Gravidia has fallen... Orphist, so this is, this would be Orphist Mask, right? I think so. Oh no, Orphist Mask is there. So this is just like Orphist Regus. So not great. Seraph, I think Seraph's pretty alright deck. Uh, normal Wellstra, uh, not that great anymore. Tamayura is there as well, but Saga doesn't really have that much support. Uh, Overlord is okay i guess you you have like the new cyclers so i guess it's not too bad uh eugene is unlucky gandiva gandiva used to be like here it's not that good of an average deck i think i think it's like high c low b M maybe we'll put it at the top of c just so that you know it gets a little bit of respect dragon tree is not great uh jeva i think jeva's pretty okay i think with the cindy promo uh jeva actually becomes formidable uh mahar used to be one of the best decks in the format and then now it's down there shoujo doji i think a lot of people have including myself have given disrespect to this deck and i think it's good enough to be decent uh there will be people who will bring it and you know people who are you know insanely OP enough to bring it to Worlds and win Worlds, you know? Big shout out to them. Um, so yeah, Shoji Doji I think uh, is not too bad. The Snake, the Snake used to be all right. I think it's there. Vietnamese Bruce or Viamance Bruce can go down there. Barry Magnus. Unicar is like here, but I think it would jump to like high, high B-ish, low A-ish uh, once, you know, we get more of the new stuff in set two. Uh, Bruce has fallen. Grade four Bruce has fallen. Uh, Jejeweled Mask is nowhere close to as good as Ignis. So I guess we'll put it there. Greedon. Is this Greedon Mask? Do we have Greedon Mask down here somewhere? I don't think... Oh yeah, we, we do. Okay, so this is normal Greedon. So normal Greedon's are uh, not great. Jets pretty all right chaos gets better i think in set two uh so i guess we'll put it like up here somewhere uh luke is terrible hex orb i guess it's all right 
fun casual deck you'll bring to locals. Graham Grace is not great. Minerva. I actually think Minerva is like here somewhere. Uh, purely because it actually has a really good matchup into Shunui. Um, and we've seen some results as of recent from Springfests in like certain seats where Shunui is a bit more, how should I say, potent, right? Uh, MLB, I think this will get better if we have the Blaster Blade, the Vanguard promo. Uh, but for the meantime, I think it's just all right. Uh, give it its due respect. I guess you can play it like pretty good at locals, right? Um, PBD is the, oh, PBO is the same. Bastion. This is Bastion Prime purely, right? There's no Accord anywhere. Yeah, Accord's like down here somewhere, right? Uh, maybe not. Huh. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll put it there and then we'll see where it goes afterwards. So, Lyron, Unlucky Buddy, uh, Tegria. Tegria's below average, I guess. Youthberg, I think, is strong, but I wouldn't put it in A. There are some decks in A that I definitely would put there before. Uh, Youthberg, Magnolia, Elder is alright. I think it's somewhere up here, maybe. Uh, Grand Fear's not great. Maelstrom's not great. Uh, Leonorn Mask. Is this Vivace? Oh no, Vivace is here. There's Alden, but there's no Bastion Accord. That's weird. Alright, anyways. So Leonorn Mask just goes here. I go. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's definitely better than all of the decks down here. So we'll put it there. Maelstrom kind of goes down here. Zorga Mask, I think, is pretty strong. Um, I think it can go in there. Rorua. Rorua, I think it needs slightly more support, but I think that will come in due time. So I think maybe... It's not... Yeah, m maybe it's like up in D somewhere. Uh, Lorona Roll. It's okay. Uh, but I think Lorona Roll didn't really give that, well, have that much impact. Uh, Lutitia just kind of goes there. What's this? Michu? Michu we didn't see very much or at all. So I guess it goes here. Michu I think will get better with the new dress up that it will get. Same with Medial. Uh, Petralka is kind of the same. Willista, I think, is this Festa Magica? Oh no, Bastion of Chords is there, so that is Bastion Prime, so that's just pure Bastion Prime. Uh, do we have... No, don't think so. So, Willista, I think, got better because now of the Unrestriction uh, to Elvira. So I think Willista is a pretty alright deck. Uh, Alestial is probably better than most of these. Uh, Clarissa kind of goes down here. Felty, Fortia. What's this? Hazaret? Hazaret's kind of air. Eh. Herminia as well. Grateful Kyrie, I think, is somewhere here. It got the Jasmine promo. So I think the Jasmine promo really helps with the, do, the new uh, D support for the Grade 2 line. I think it makes its way like up the chain somewhere, but I don't think it's good enough to bring to a regional event. Uh, Kyoka. Actually, so this one here, I actually will put somewhere here. Purely because uh, I spoke it, I spoke about it in my recent tournament reports video, but Kyoka actually has a pretty tanky way to kind of get all of your uh, PGs. It has its new promo that essentially calls two different grades from the bin, and then your grade two from D set one essentially bounces it to hand, so you have nearly unlimited amount of PGs. So I think, yeah, I think Kyoka, surprisingly enough, is like pretty decent right because uh, uh like there's another lyrical deck uh we might get to it yeah so there fennel fennel will also go there as well uh what's this uh i don't even know her name oh lilfa lilfa that kind of goes there favneel goes there uh monster strike we don't have monster strike in english so if you're watching from jp i guess it's a decent deck um but i probably wouldn't bring any of these uh, to like originals unless it's like a rogue play. Uh, 
Messiah goes there as well. Pretty much all the Shaman Kings, like all the Shaman and all the Ragnaroks just kind of phased out, I guess. Uh, Silhouette Man, eh, didn't get that much support. Ezul, same, I guess. Um, Ezul doesn't really rank in the same ranks as like some of these other ones. Maybe it like ranks better than a Alestial, maybe. I mean, like, these decks actually have, like, pretty decent support, so I think Ezel just kind of goes there. Greed on Mask, I think, is here or here, I think. Uh, we'll just, like, dump it all in B and just kind of, like, uh, rearrange it as we go. Uh, Mushi King as well, I think that goes there. Misty Arc. What did Misty Arc get recently? Delphina, the PR. I guess that makes it all right. Uh, Vermilion... I guess you can kind of... Uh, Vermilion doesn't really do much. Still a 4 attack deck, 5 attack deck maybe, but like nothing compared to like Orphus Mask or something like that. Uh, I don't know which one of these is Tachi Crest, uh, but Tachi Crest is actually pretty good. So let's just say this is Tachi Crest. Uh, the other ones are like here i guess we can just like dump them there yeah we'll just pop those token robby ones there uh just imagine this is touchy crest i'm guessing it's touchy crest i don't know um kashu kashu is okay uh this one goes here uh mika munechika is pretty all right like we saw a lot of results in jp side but i don't know how that will translate into english uh, we did get the new booster released this week, so maybe it can be uh, somewhere up above um, once people actually figure it out. Uh, this guy can go here. This guy... Yamambagiri. Hmm. I guess that can go here. This guy's the... No, this guy is the... The grade 3 is training tools, right? So this is training tools. So this actually goes down here. I think. Yeah, if we're thinking training tools, I think Kiwame, the Kiwame Tachi Crest, I think that goes there. Those two are usually the big potent decks. Kashu is like, oh, I guess Kashu can kind of go here as well. So those two, those three token Rambu decks are like pretty good. Uh, Claudine is sufficient. Bastion Accord, I think Bastion Accord goes into the ranks of some of the other ones here. I think it's pretty good. The Quints, unfortunately, none of them are great. Uh, we haven't seen any of them perform in JP, which is unfortunate. Because I think, like, if if these decks were, like, good, um, yeah, it, it'd be pretty good. So I'll, I'll put the fifth Quint there. Uh, Office Mask. Office Mask definitely goes up here somewhere, but we'll drag the Bs into As as we go. Um... Amina Gruzio is alright. Magnolia Mass is the same. Gravidia kind of goes in where the first Gravidia was, wherever that is. Where's the original Gravidia? It's like here, right? Yeah. Let's just put it here. Oh, Gravidia is there. I think I think Gravidia has passed its time. I think Gravidia used to be really good. Um but yeah. Oh, actually, this is the old Avant Garda. So, old Avant Garda goes down here. New Avant Garda goes up here, I think. But lo low low B, I think. So maybe Avant Garda goes like here. But Gandiva, I think, is slightly better. Uh, Siana is alright. Uh, Shamu is good. Shamu is a very strong local deck that you'd bring for Springfest. Uh, Fennel as well. I think Fennel, Fennel definitely goes up here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we'll rearrange that as we go. Uh, Fortia will get better. Uh, Herminia. Jujuled Ignis. <laughs> Alright. This is probably my first A deck. Purely because it is a glass cannon deck. And set 2 actually makes it like probably the best deck. Actually... Let's just dump it all in B and then we can kind of rearrange as we go. I think I'm giving too much respect if I put it into A, but it probably does sit in A. Okay, so Alden goes here. Morphonica. Morphonica is actually pretty good. Uh, I think it's a Shuru Nui Slayer, but it struggles against a lot of the other decks. Um, 
what all the other like A plus decks. My go. So my go is the first A, 100%. If you guys are playing set one, my go is a very strong deck to pick up. Super cheap, very straightforward. Literally, you just get everything in set one. You put into a deck, one Elementara, Sanctus 2, no Regalus pieces needed. It is just straight out of the box, really, really strong competitive deck. Um, it just makes ridiculous numbers. Grade two turn, grade three turn. You have four attacks, potentially five attacks with again ridiculous numbers has an insane advantage engine um i think my go is very very strong um pacifica hasn't really done much prism has though prism i think goes in a it's a very strong deck um so i guess jujul ignis goes there as well right uh yeah i think and youthberg goes there i guess and zorga mask greed on as well uh I think the token Rambu decks are good enough for at least those two to go in there. Same with Mushi King uh, and Shamu. Definitely those. Uh, not too sure about some of the other decks, but I think the other decks can stay there. Orphus Mask, maybe, but I think consistency-wise it gets better in set two. Uh, more Dragon Tree can go down here. Vivace, definitely an A deck. I think it's a very strong um, contender as your third deck for Springfest. Uh, Luan is pretty formidable. Um, I guess it can go in there. Luan, one of the best decks, if not the best deck in the format. Sir Gowan makes this deck ridiculous. Has an insane grade 2 game. Advantage engine is ridiculous. Deck compression is ridiculous. Always returning crits to deck. Uh, has a guard restrict quad drive with crit. Insane amount of power stride. Um, yeah, Luar just literally ticks all the boxes, very, very strong, and we know why, given that JP has banned, um, or choice restricted, uh, Sir Gowan with the use of Luar. Uh, Shunui, again, the, the best deck in the format, uh, no questions asked, I think we've, we talk about the story all the time already, I think, uh, yeah, we're, we're that close to getting so sick of it, uh, this deck got two hits, Primarily, uh, pretty much, the ride line hit and choice restriction between uh, Shunri, Obero, and uh, the Overtrigger, uh, Drag Vader. This deck is just really strong, and I think with some of the tools that it gets in set one, it, even, it makes this deck even stronger. Uh, so yeah, Shunui, uh, best deck in format. Uh, this guy didn't really see too much work. Uh, what the heck is this guy? I've never seen that guy before. It's probably like a rare ride line or something. Time stamping dragon goes down here. Uh, us largest Dieful dolls. So Dieful dolls actually goes in A. And time rules aside, I think the deck is very strong. It probably moves up to the top of A. Come set two with the new grade two on hit Dieful doll. I think the deck is very strong. You put this in the hands of someone who can play it quick. And knows what what to do with it uh, I think you'll be able to bypass time pretty easily um, I have yet to play at locals I think this deck has a lot of potential um, so yeah I think it sits in a quite comfortably uh, this is the Spino guy this can go down here Wellstra Wellstra very very strong deck um, yeah I think this deck for set one standards it's very strong uh, along with Varga and Rezel I think those three decks, the three divine skill decks, um, are very strong. It has a way of being able to just blow up your opponent, one-shot your opponent. Um, and yeah, like Wellstrip previously was just really annoying to deal with. And the fact that you now have uh, an on-demand divine skill that props two products uh, is pretty, pretty bonkers. Uh, Chris Rain. Chris Rain is okay for now. I think it can get better. Uh, the TD one is not that great. Uh, Varga. Varga, definitely an A tier deck. Uh, if you are picking up Varga for set one, it's good. I think it gets even better in set two because you get a new grade one, which makes Varga ridiculously consistent. Um, so yeah, Varga is already in a very good position for it. Well, actually for the investment of the deck. So if you are getting it for set two, it becomes one of the best decks in the format later on. Uh, this is the trial deck guy. We'll put it there. Another trial deck guy. Rezel. Rezel, I think, is very strong. We've seen lots of results for this deck in the JP side. 
um, and much more to come, I think, in the Western side as well. Uh, protagonist decks tend to be very strong and has a lot of support. Uh, Razel itself is uh, scalable into the future purely because of how good and how generic the skill is. Uh, this is the Trader Guy, Lascaria. Lascaria is a B, B tier deck, but I think it might jump higher with the set 2 support. The new grade 2 bug makes this deck much better because you can start calling stuff and I guess building advantage. Uh, so I think it can go there. Fennel, I actually... I I don't know. Like, should this go in A? I think... I think the Fennel, the Fennel hype died and people have found a way to kind of deal with this deck. So I think it's like a good road pick. Uh, borderline A, but definitely high B. Uh, the trial deck one can go in here. All right, and then I guess we're talking the rest about the set two stuff. So let's just brush up for the set one stuff first. So let's just recap. Uh, best decks in the format, Shunui, Luard, uh, the next best decks or the third deck in your Springfest team or formidable decks to bring and kind of have to test against um, to be, I guess, well-versed. So Maigo, Prism, Vivace, Jujult Ignis, uh, Youthberg, Ma uh, Greed on Mask, Zorga Mask, the Tachi Crest, um, well, training tools, um, Munechika, Mushi King, Shamu, Direful Dolls, Wellstra Arms, uh, Varga, and Rezel. And then pretty much the tier under is like formidable to bring to a regional. So like Fennel, Office Mask, Hero, Eva, Prism, uh, Dragonic Overlord, uh, the End, uh, Jeva, Shoujo Doji, Jet, Minerva, Willista, Kyoka, uh, Monster Strike we obviously don't have. So I think Monster Strike is like kind of phasing out in JP as well. So it's probably at the end or maybe like even down here. Let's just pop, let's just pop it down there just to make it clean. Uh, we have like Messiah, Kashu, uh, Bastion Accord, uh, Morphonica. Actually Morphonica, I think it's, it's good enough to be in here, I think. Uh, same with Bastion, I think. I, I think if you're grouping those with like Zorgamas and Greedon, I think it's pretty good for it to be up there. Then there's like Luan, Chris Rain, and Lascaria. So this is kind of like kind of like the landscape for set one, right? So then when we talk about set two, uh, Luan and Shunui are still the best decks, right? Uh, even despite you know getting rid of Selgaon, uh, Luan is still seeing played. But I think Luar jumps down, and then like the next better decks are like Jujudignus and like Varga, right? Uh, Blangmire, Blangmire is just like just the tip of the iceberg into S tier. So I think those three are like pretty good. I think it's disrespectful to kind of put Luar here because I think the deck is actually still pretty strong, um, and a lot of teams are still bringing it. Um, but then again, you know, we didn't really see too much um, Luar at Davanga Sai. I think people have just kind of steered away from it. So I think it's okay to put it in A. Uh, other decks, I don't actually know what this deck is. This is the Dragon Empire one, right? Dragon Empire, yeah. Let's just, it's undiscovered. So I guess we'll put it there. Same with the Lyrical Girl, the Marnie. Uh, same with the Brandgate. Uh, Rhea Minolta, Rhea Amolta, sorry, uh, I think it's a splashable card, not so much a deck in itself, but I think it's alright enough to be, like, a decent deck, uh, so going forward, and Zorga Nadir actually becomes one of the best decks in the format, we saw a lot of it at Davangasa, a lot of teams brought Zorga Nadir, and, you know, I guess if you're bringing Zorga here, then I guess Blangmire kind of goes there as well. So I guess this is kind of like the landscape for set two, um, plus Eva. I think Eva is really strong, but not all not all teams would be bringing it. I don't know. Maybe it goes up here or like top top of A, top of A, like brinking S. I think. I think it's like it's annoying because like Eva beats Blangmire because like it's it's just. Eva's like a really good matchup, right? But then like the other decks are like, I don't know. So may maybe it's respectful to put Eva in S, right? So so I guess this is kind of like what the best decks are. 
but like in in its entirety, I think S and A are like good enough for it to be in discussion with each other. Uh, these are all formidable decks, um, and yeah, I think like stuff like Diefel Dolls gets better. Mygo is still good. Every, like a lot of JP teams are still bringing Mygo. Uh, Greedon got good because of the Set to Kangaroo looking guy, uh, Zorga Mask. So I guess now that Zorga Nadir is a thing, Zorga Mass just actually gets off the radar. Uh, Shamu is good. These are Mushi King goes to the, towards the bottom. Uh, Rezel gets better. So I guess maybe it like sits somewhere up here. Prism is alright. Vivace, Youthberg. They, these are like all pretty okay decks. Uh, Welstra Arms kind of up here somewhere. So I guess this is like kind of the landscape of set two as well. And I think it's good enough to kind of cover the basis of what decks you will be anticipating at bcs because bcs season this is pretty much the landscape because i think july spring fest that's when set two is legal uh so you might get into like the early stages of uh, bcs so you'll obviously be versing a lot of these decks because it's you know uh, starting into the set two meta and then maybe breaking into set three once you know Dayusha comes out um, you know, Arakite and some of the other ones that got released in the last few weeks. So yeah, this is pretty much the tier list. Uh, again, this is uh, just my opinion and I guess the stats um, kind of back it up, I guess. Uh, we've seen a lot of representation of a lot of these decks in JP. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the competitive tier list for set one slash set two. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Pop a like, comment down below what you guys think of set 1 and set 2 and its entirety, what the meta is like. Are you guys enjoying Divines? Let me know down below because I certainly am. And I have a Constructor Cup tomorrow. So yeah, let's play that. If you guys haven't already, click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.